Okay, so a good friend of mine, Steve WB4BXO, sent me this tutorial on how to uh, run a Python program on boot and put it in the background. Uh, this is a fairly new way of doing it. I think it's been around for a while, but the old RC local, uh, they say it's getting deprecated, so this is the way everybody should go from this point forward. So uh, anyway, it's over at SparkFun, and this is Method 3 System D on their uh, page here. Uh, depends on what version of software you have or anyway. But this works. Um, with Debian 9. I've already tried it, so I'm going to I'm going to put this on my old server just to show you how it works. So, um, anyway, to begin with, you've got to um, you've got to make what they call a unit file, which is basically kind of a configuration file. It tells it where to go look to execute the Python program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. We're not going to sudo nano into it and all that. What we're going to do is make this service file. So let's go over to the server real quick. I'm going to paste that. But I'm not... See, it already executes it when you paste it. But anyway, uh, hit the up arrow so it'll do the previous command. We want to go into the library systemd system. So now that I've already got that in there, I'm going to cd into the systemd system folder. Okay, so now we're in the system folder. What I'm going to do is touch, because I'm already in the folder, so I'm going to touch hb link dot service. Now what touch does is it creates that file. So now I'm going to nano into that file. HP link dot service. So now we got now we have the blank file pulled up and we need to populate it. I'm going to go back over here. We're going to copy their code to put into that document. paste it in there okay now we're gonna go up here the description there's is blink my LED so we're going to put in um, start HB link that's just informational and then what we need to do is down here on this service execute and start user bin python3 is telling it to use python3 but we're going to take this out which links to their python program and we're going to go to remember we put it in opt so opt hb link 3 and we're going to execute the bridge dot pi that's it so control x to save it yes enter so now that's saved now we need to go back to the website and that's showing where they all did all that so now what I'm going to do is this next command is systemctl daemon reload I've already done it one time. I don't know if it'll pop up in there or not. Let's see. All right. Let's see, when you paste it in, it automatically executes it. And since I'm logged in as root, you don't need to put sudo in front of it. So we're going to reload the daemon. We'll go back to the website. We're going to copy the next line, which is... It tells the uh, system control to enable the, they're saying blink service, but ours is going to be the uh, HB link service. I'm going to paste it. Of course, it's going to try to execute it, and it's going to fail. Hit the up arrow to do the previous command. Take sudo out from in front of it. <laughs> and the cool thing is, it's HB, I mean, it's blink, so all we got to do is put an H in front of it, the HB link service. 
Okay, so now all that's updated. Anytime you make a change, you have to, if you make a change in that uh, file, you have to go back in and do that again. So that's it. Now we're going to go into service and we're going to reboot. Now, I don't have my handy talkie hooked up to this one. I'd have to redo my node and everything. But that is exactly what I did in my other... Uh, I've got two of these running right now. One was for the video and one that I already had running. So, I'm going to go into the other one that was running because my hotspot is pointed at it. So, I'm going to log into that. I'm going to reboot it. Now what that did is that flushed my temporary folder. Um, so that log file is gone now out of the temporary folder. So we're going to log back into it. Now if you don't want your logs to get flushed, you can put them somewhere else. And you can do that in the main configuration file under logger and point it to a different path. Okay, so I'm logged in now. So let's go look at our log. Go look at temp. HP, oh, wait a minute. Temp, HP link. Let's nano into it. Temp, HP link dot log. All right, so you can see where it just started. And right now where I'm at, it is 11.35 p.m., which is 0335 UTC. Okay, you can see where everything just logged in. So we, we see the log. So, okay, is it running? I know there's a way to go look and see if it's running and, and see it live. I don't know how to do it, so I'm going to just show you the log. So we see that there's no activity. It just logged in, right? So we're going to control X, get out of that. I'm going to grab my handy HT here. I'm going to key it up once. Key it up twice. I see the repeater coming up behind me. Now we'll go back into that log again. And now you can see where... Call start, call in, call start, call in, where I keyed it up twice. So it is working after a reboot, and I didn't have to do anything. But yet, we're sitting there looking at a nice, clean prompt. So that is a good way to uh, get it to load on start and run in the background.